How's it going YouTube? This is Dad in the City coming to you from the Dad in the City vehicle. So today we're going to be talking about the Yi 2.7K dash cam. This is going to be actually the replacement for my Zone Cam 4K camera that I was using as a dash cam. However, that thing died. You know, it was really good. I enjoyed it when I was using it. However, it just stopped working one day. Fixing the battery, but it just wouldn't work anymore. It wouldn't turn on or it would turn on occasionally and turn back off. But I ever since I actually got the Yi 2.7K dash cam and so far you know I've enjoyed it. We're gonna see some footage from it today. I'm just driving around the city and seeing how the image looks. It's mounted right in front of my rearview mirror so it actually doesn't obstruct any view. I did enjoy the fact that it has a long USB power cable and I was able to wrap it through the inside of the liner and kind of the way they recommended it and it actually works perfect because I had a USB extender into my stereo in my truck and it actually works perfect as soon as I turn on the vehicle it powers up it sends the right amount of wattage into the camera and it turns on you'll see how it's mounted I did mount it with that uh, 3M adhesive right into the glass and it's actually withstand pretty well. I was a little bit concerned because here in the Midwest we do get a lot of cold temperature and when I installed this it was really a cold day. Uh, but it's been on there for a couple of weeks now and it's been working just fine. So this is a follow up to our Zone Cam 4K camera that died. So without further ado, I'll show you how it's mounted. We'll see some footage. So here's the camera the way it's set up in my vehicle as you can tell it's kind of right behind the rearview mirror it doesn't obstruct any view I have access to the buttons down below because I needed to right now just sitting stationary you can see that the status light is blinking and it is actually recording as I'm sitting here because I do have the auxiliary just plugged in uh, just so I can show that it's blinking I'll turn it off and as soon as I open my door, which will deactivate my auxiliary since my keys are off, you know, the camera will turn off. What I do like is that it shows you a report, the drive time, how long I drove, if I had any hard acceleration or hard brakes or FCW. I'm not quite sure, but I'll look that up and I will put it down in the comments. And then as you can tell, it just turns off. As soon as I turn it back on, there goes my auxiliaries. The camera turns right on. Ye shows the dash, and it goes right into recording, which I do like uh, a lot. Uh, it does have Wi-Fi. Um, I don't have that uh, hooked up to my phone at the moment, but I do have the app on there. Which means that as soon as I am done or I'm ready to download anything, if I open up the app, it'll just start recording. Uh, it shows the time, uh, hours, minutes, seconds, and like I said, it does record right away. It does have an emergency recording. I can't stop recording if I want to by pressing the camera and it'll pause it right away. Um, at the same time, if I want to go into my videos, I can press on that and as you can tell, I mean the navigation is pretty good I do like how it is it's set up in that drive dash cam mode and it splits everything up if I want to go back um, I just need to press the record button or the camera button if I want to go back I just press the back button it takes me back up to the live view and it starts recording right away okay if I wanted to go into settings go ahead and press on the settings and you can go ahead and change everything up and it's real easy navigation I have it set up for uh, 1080p 60 frames per second um, you can change the mic on and off and it's real simple to 
act, you know activate anything i can just press my power or settings button with the check mark on there and it'll turn things on or off you know it has a sensor uh for when the camera is off if someone bumps into it you know it'll start that emergency recording um, it has a LCD, you know, timing so I can turn it off. So once I turn on the vehicle and start driving, I have it set up for five minutes. After five minutes, the LCD screen will shut off, but it'll still continue to record, which is what I do like. That way it's not always on. It does have an uh, assistant driving technology. I haven't used it. Um, honestly, from other people that I noticed who had the camera, you know they you know it starts telling you warnings and everything else i at the moment don't want to use that so i just turned that off you know it has the wi-fi your sd you can actually go back to reset you know to factor settings the time um, it has the standby clock display if you want to have it you know turned on or off uh, like i said for me i don't use that because it's set up right behind my rear view mirror so i don't have to worry about the time and it's also on my stereo so again i don't need it uh, it has a power on off sound which i appreciate because for me i don't like hearing chimes or dings or things turn on or off i can see it by the status light that's on and it's recording so that's my all i care about it has a button sound and off also so you can hear the sounds as you're pressing the buttons i have mine set up for off has a driving report so that's that image where once you turn off the vehicle if I just move the mirror out of the way or just as I'm getting off of my vehicle I can see the report and it kind of just tell me hey you accelerated hard or you broke hard which is it's kind of nice I like seeing that I like to see zeros on there just to make sure that it, I know that I'm driving moderately and then again then you can go into the camera to find out information about it it gives you that you know for more information it gives you you know passwords and all that um again but for me all i like is having to go back to record onto the screen and it'll shut off by itself so that is a quick review on the so that's a quick review on the Yi 2.7K dash cam. Again, I really like it so far. Um, it wasn't so much more than the zone cam. I just thought the zone cam was a nice little camera where it can be also my action camera that I can take because my GoPro that I'm using now, the Sessions 5, was acting up. But thanks to GoPro, uh, I'll do another video later on about that. They actually replaced it, so I have this new one. So I was using that Zone Cam 4K uh, HD camera. Again, I was impressed with it just for the price and what it was doing. And since I'm new to it, I, you know, I, I buy all my own stuff. So I like that for the price. It was a good, affordable camera that seemed to work well. Um, however, it did die. So I had given them great reviews. Their customer service had gotten back to me and they had, you know, sent me a new replacement to the first one uh, but this is two cameras down already um, so unfortunately I cannot recommend that however the Yi 2.7k dash cam was really good again so if you have any questions comments like share you know notify hit the notification bell subscribe and I appreciate all your support thank you and have a great day